Hi, it's Peter Chapman from SKU Food. And when you're looking at uh, making your food business successful, one of the opportunities that you have and is to work with a distributor. And uh, although there's a cost to working with a distributor, there are definitely some paybacks as well. And the reality is you have to get your product into the marketplace. And if you're working with one of the large retailers, then sometimes you work through their own distribution network. But if you want to access some of the more specialty stores and independents and some of the, the retailers that may be more receptive to the idea or the, the products that you're working with, then a lot of times the best opportunity or the best solution is to work with a distributor. And these companies will purchase your product from you and then take that and uh, in turn, resell it to different retailers, different marketplaces. So it's uh, one stop for you to drop your product and then they will go out and sell the product within the marketplace for you. And there's some things that you need to know if you're going to work with a distributor. So the first thing you need to know is that you've got to find the right people with access to the right markets for your product. Not all distributors visit every store, not all distributors service every segment of the market. So you've got to make sure that you find a distributor that has access to the right stores for your product. And that could be refrigerated deli or something like that, or natural food, or there's lots of different areas where people specialize. So make sure you find a distributor who has access to the right markets. The second thing you need to do is make sure that you both have clear expectations of success. And a lot of times we see these relationships where people say, well, you know, I've got listed with a distributor and they're going to solve all my problems. And that's not their job. You still have to be the sales and marketing for your product. This is a, a company that will work with you to make that happen. But the reality is you need to make sure that you both have similar expectations. So what are the number of cases that are going to sell? What's it going to cost to do all these kind of things? And, and what is each party going to bring to the table to make this a successful uh, relationship? And finally, the last thing I'll leave you with is make sure you find people where you see that there's a true partnership. This is not simply you dropping your product at their warehouse, washing your hands of it, and just waiting for them to pay you. It doesn't work that way. You need to find a relationship where you, you have that true partnership, where you are both in sync as to how the product should sell and, and what should be done to make it successful, and then what each one of you are going to do to make that happen. So those three things, really finding a distributor with access to the right markets, uh, making sure that you both have clear expectations of what is gonna be done, and then finding a company where you can have that true partnership. Those are three secrets to success. And this week on our SKU Food Recipe for Success presented by FCC, we're gonna talk with Anthony Battaglia from Newport Gourmet Foods. And they are a distributor in, in the GTA, in the Toronto market. And Anthony's gonna share some of the, the, the different nuances of working with a distributor. We're also gonna talk about the cost of doing some of these things too, because there is always a cost to this as well. So we're gonna cover all of that in our recipe for success presented by FCC. So we'd be really excited if you could join us on October 28th at 2 p.m. Atlantic, 1 p.m. Eastern, where we'll talk about the distributor. And we'll also talk about some of the other costs that you will incur when you're running a successful food business. So we look forward to seeing you then.